Okay, this is Dave Trombo here with Coach Emma Lorenzen. Uh, after the uh, 3-0 Marymount win, uh, tell me, I was a little surprised what was going on on the court for Marymount tonight. Tell me what your thoughts were. Yeah, so, I mean, we've been watching them, obviously, getting ready and prepared, and they've kind of been struggling a little bit this season, but one of the things that we kind of emphasized on the coaching staff was not to underestimate her opponent and treat them as as best as they are. So they have a huge strength of schedule, so we know they've been seeing really tough competition, which means they're probably a really good team. And so the biggest thing for us was handle our side, do what we know, do what we can do best, which was definitely our focus tonight was our serve and pass, which I do think has looked a lot better from games that we have been in. So I'm very pleased with us. I think we handled our side with confidence tonight, and it was just a nice turnaround after our past few wins or a few losses. Well, I was shocked because they're running a 6-2. Yeah. They haven't done that all year. So you were ready to run a 5, uh, to play defense against a 5-1. Yeah. So we actually, just watching them from their past weekend with Hopkins and Ithaca, they switched the lineup a few times. They mm -hmm. did 6-2, 5-1, 6-2, 5-1, ah, okay. back and forth. So I told the girls, I'm like, I'm not quite sure what is going to come out of tonight, but we're going to be prepared for either one. And so we did practice the 5-1, uh, well, defending or playing against a 5-1 and then the same thing. And we kind of initiate that in practice. So one side will be, you know, our opponent and then our other side would be ours so we were prepared for whatever was coming out of there well I thought that one of the keys tonight was uh, Maya Harris who I've watched play for the three years previous to you and she had killed us in the she can be really really good or bad but I thought Zay and Julia at the net tonight with you know, blocked her a couple times and she just started rolling and so she and she was kind of done yeah, I think one of the biggest things for us is we talk a lot about priority blocking, especially in situations. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing I always tell my hitters when they're up front, I'm like, no, who are, who are you blocking? Who's your responsibility? And they kind of point those out. So I'm really just proud of us for kind of handling and reading the situation a lot better now. Well, and I always say it comes down to the, the serving as far as, you know, like Kylie had four aces tonight. Yeah. So you would get them to, you know, to pass a one ball, and they knew it was going out to Maya. Harris, number eight. And so then that the Zay and Julia could set that block. And I said, you know, Zay's leading the conference in blocking, and Julia, as a right side, is number nine in the conference in blocking. So that's a pretty good combination out there. Absolutely. And I think Julia really instills a lot of confidence, confidence into Z, just mm -hmm. her being, you know, a freshman and having that mentality of get to me, I'll set the block, you know. And she just has a little bit of court swag to her, so you can always appreciate that a little bit, that she's a competitor and she, she wants to give that hitter a hard time, and she definitely does a good job at that. Oh, I love the the improvement of Rachel Lentz tonight. Yeah. She you know she limited herself to two errors. You know after having 16 kills against Catholic, but 11 errors. Yeah. So I thought she was also you know she really played well tonight. Yeah, we talk a lot with our offense too. If you're not getting the set that you want, make the smarter play. Mm -hmm. Find the court. Don't force an error, but make, force the other team to make an error. And so the biggest thing that we can do is put the ball in play. And so if you are out of system, find the court, find the court, or make them go out of system. Go at their setter. Go at you know their libero. Go deep. Um, and so just being kind of emphasizing that to her is like manage what you're, what kind of set you're getting. And if you get the one, go ahead, swing away. But if you don't, let's manage and not try to hit the back wall or go into the net and just make it a little <laughs> bit of a smart play. Well, I, I love the fact that you're blinging Claire off the bench. Takes a lot of pressure off Rachel. I mm -hmm. think she's carrying a big load. She didn't pass bad yeah. at a receive. She, I think she had one receive error tonight, but yep. she started off the game. But bring Claire in there so Rachel can kind of gather herself over there, which I think it, I think that will help her. Yeah, I'm also really, really proud of Claire. I think she started off season a little rocky, so coming in and just see her confidence and knowing that she's stepping in for a big outside um, is definitely something I've I've loved watching so far this season, and she's slowly getting her confidence there every single time that she steps in. So uh, she can still run a back row attack, no problem, and she's an option, of course, and she definitely brings a little bit of light to the team as well. Like, she's not super stressed. She doesn't play very stressed, and um, I think that helps. Just a little bit of different personnel on the court, mm -hmm. and like you said, give Rachel some time to right. process. And uh, the one thing I told Rachel, too, is watch your, watch Kylie. Watch your other outside. What's working for her? What mm -hmm. What's successful for her? And you can learn a lot from being on the bench. So. Mm -hmm. Well, last but not least, I thought Kylie did make some hitting errors tonight, mm -hmm. but she hit the ball with confidence yep. tonight. You know, so she ended up having eight or nine kills. Did have a, she did have more errors than I know she wanted, but had six aces, five, eight, four aces, played really good defense, and you're going to need that out of her to win. Yeah, I think Kylie brings a lot of things to her court, mm -hmm. even if she is off on her hitting or if she's off on her passing. I mean, she just has so much leadership and carries so mm -hmm. much with her. So I think today was good progress for her. She did, 
you know, sit one weekend. So it's just nice to see her kind of turn around and go in with some mental toughness and just play what she can and control what she can. So we'll definitely be in the gym. That's the first thing she came off the bench and said, I really want to work on my hitting this week at practice. <laughs> so uh, we'll definitely go there. And I think for a player to notice that and ask for that is impressive itself. So I'm proud of her and just proud of her court leadership. Okay. Well, good win tonight. Good news final. Now I got to check the Orioles score, but <laughs> but uh, really a, a good good win for Stevenson and with authority leading into this weekend's matches against Lancaster Bible and Elizabethtown. So be with us on Saturday at eleven and at three for those matches. Thanks, Emma. Yeah, thank you. And we'll see you then.